Sure thing, friend. This is my favorite beef stew recipe. I make it as often as I can during the fall and winter. Just a heads up though, it's not gluten free, although you can probably modify it. Take an onion, dice it up. You want about four medium carrots, slice up about half a bunch of celery. Then you want red potatoes. The recipe calls for two pounds. I just put in an amount based on what I have and what I'm feeling. You take all your sliced vegetables, you put them into a slow cooker. Now for the secret sauce slash non-gluten-free part, you're gonna take anywhere from one to two pounds of beef stew meat, throw it in a bowl, salt and pepper to taste, dust it with a quarter cup of flour, toss it up real good so it's coated. The flour is gonna give this stew this really amazing toasted flavor that you don't normally get in a beef stew. Now you're going to heat up a large skillet and saute some minced garlic. The recipe calls for four cloves, but as with all recipes that call for garlic, you should use the amount of garlic that's in your heart. Once that garlic is soft and fragrant, throw in the stew meat and all of the flour that was in the bowl with it. You're just gonna leave it there for a few minutes to get really toasted. Then flip the meat around, leave for a few minutes again, just repeat for all sides. You want it toasted, toasted, toasted. Throw it in the slow cooker with the veggies and stir. Okay, next. Take that same skillet, do not wash it, put it right back on the burner on low heat. Add your beef broth, Dijon, Worcester sauce, soy sauce, brown sugar, rosemary, and thyme. You're gonna stir to combine and then keep stirring gently while it simmers until you've dissolved any brown bits off the bottom of the pan. You want all those brown bits to get that roasty toasty flavor. Leave no roasty toasty behind. Pour that sauce over the meat and veggies. It's not going to cover it, don't worry about it, more moisture will be released as this thing cooks. Throw the lid on, the recipe says to cook it on high for four hours. You can if you really want, but I much prefer cooking this on low for six to eight hours. Once you're done torturing yourself with that good smell all day, pop the lid off and stir it around. Just use your spoon to break up any beef chunks into smaller pieces. They should be practically falling apart at this juncture, so this task is really easy. Give it a taste, adjust salt as needed. Serve with some bread, because everyone is going to want to soak up every last drop out of their bowl. Enjoy!